Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rod and uh, this is going to be a, a weekly tarot reading for uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising here on uh, Radko, Radko Tarot. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, as per usual, I want to uh, remind you that this is going to be a, a general tarot reading for Virgo Star Sign. And uh, for that reason, the general tarot reading is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with uh, every single different Virgo and for that reason um, you know you have to align that general reading at the end with your personal situation but uh, if you want more personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through, uh, through tarot and to give you a prediction for it for the future uh, then that is the subject of a, of a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find on the very front page a full list of my services as well as their pricings which are starting from just as little as $12 as I have decided to keep the promotion sales for the month of March as well to make myself more accessible uh, for the people we need especially financial one so that being set aside, uh, going for the Virgo uh, general reading, the first card, which is the very topic of the word Virgo, uh, Virgo's week, that is going to be the King of Wands, followed by the second card, which is how you should not approach the situation or the negative, uh, the negative actions you can take here toward the topic, which is the King of uh, Wands, that is to be the Two of Swords. Followed by the positive approach toward the situation or the things that you should do here in regards to the King of Wands, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. And the last card, that is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot. And we do have the King of Swords. A uh, very interesting reading. Uh, once again, the cards, King of Wands, followed by the uh, Two of Swords, then the next one that is going to be the Queen of Wands, and the last one that is to be the King of Swords. All right, so uh, Virgos, it does look like that uh, this week you are to receive, um, I would say, unexpected help for some of you, but um, at me it may as well be a help that you know you are hoping to get from uh, this person which is marked by the king of wands as a um, <clears throat> as a criteria sin as well you know properties so uh, what happens with the king of uh, wands now this as a king of wands manifestation that is a, a person who is very affectionate you know to to your deeds and to your goals uh, it's very respected as well in the society and in generally this person can or have the means and necessary connections, the influence and you name it, to transform ideas into a, a very, very powerful actions. Usually that person appears to be um, a supervisor, boss, you know, or someone whom things are depending from. So in that specific uh, case with you uh, throughout the week, it does look like that uh, that most likely a male, you know, but it could be as well a female, is going to be enthralled by a certain either idea of yours or in general, you know, attempt or opting to uh, push a certain thing through. They, they are going to see, you know, productivity in it or rather like benefits in it and they are going to help you do it or will try to help you do it. However, the things with the King of Wands is that they don't really involve themselves physically into the matters. It is rather like they, they are calling shots, they are pointing with fingers and they are expecting others to do the hard work. So... <clears throat> As a help, you can um, you can expect this person to help you, like I said, with connections and with influence, rather than to expect that they are going to take the matters in their own hands and basically make things happen. Now, the thing with the King of uh, Wands, especially if that is a either a romantic partner or a, a business partner, you need to know that they don't satisfy themselves with just a portion of it 
meaning is that for them is either everything or either nothing. So they don't have any compromises for their expectations and they always aim high. Meaning if that is a, a romantic partner, uh, this, uh, this person will expect from you to completely follow their rules and to be ready or to be willing, you know, to succumb to their daily routine and to their lifestyle in general. If that is to be a business partner, they will expect from you to completely succumb to their plan, business plan, you know, and start executing it exactly as they are presenting that plan. But once again, um, just because, you know, you have to follow their rules or you have to follow in general their ideas, it doesn't mean that you are to fail in any way. Just on the contrary, you know, like I said, that person knows how to transform ideas into powerful actions. And I, if the idea spews from them, it's, um, it's a, a very potent, you know, direction that you can get. One more thing about the king is that they always maintain positive attitude, which makes them exceptional leaders. So if that is your supervisor, you are never going to uh, find yourself despondent by their behavior, uh, kind of like making you feel guilty of something that someone did uh, throughout the task. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the king of, uh, <clears throat> the king of cups. And uh, it does look with, uh, with this formation, which is a active enemies, it does look like that this person already made up their mind. They don't have anything to decide anymore. I mean, they, they either like you or like your idea or they find, you know, lucrivity in your idea. But my point is that you don't have to prove anything anymore and uh, simply it is why they're helping you in any way or why they want to be around you. In any way, it is because, you know, they see that you are the guy or you are the woman. It does depend what kind of uh, how they manifest in your life <clears throat> in general. And even if they offer you something, this it is not a generous offer by any means, but it is because you deserve it. OK, so because you've proven yourself, because uh, with this formation, the person marked by uh, by that combination of cards they don't basically give away anything okay they only give when when it's gonna worth it if i may express myself that way uh, th there is no charity nor gen generosity in them it's simply you proved yourself to be either capable <clears throat> you know, or to be fitting with their criteria, and it is why they're investing either into your undertakings or in you in general as a person. <clears throat> and uh, the next card that we do have here, it is how you should not approach the situation, guys. That is going to be the Two of uh, Swords, and the Two of Swords is completely passiveness. It's, it's about um, trying to find uh, more than actually is in this specific follow-up, meaning that, um, well, I don't know how to, uh, how to display it really um, or how to explain it, but let's say that uh, a person comes around or steps out throughout the week and tells you, okay, I'm going to help you, you know, with your project and you start baffling yourself why they're doing that and what is uh, what is in it for them and so on and so forth. You know, you're kind of like looping in, in, in magic circles here, trying to find more than there is actually in there. So with the Two of Swords, it will be best if you don't um, delay as as much as possible, you know, the your either confirmation or a denial of the approach and the stepping out of this person, but rather make up your mind straight away. That is because the Two of Swords says, um, if it is on a positive position or a prime position, it does says that there is more than one way you can look at something. And the fact that it does appear into a negative position, it means that the things are just as they are. So there is nothing surreptitious there. There is nothing slinky nor sleeky and this and deceitful as well into the agenda and goal of this person which steps out this week for you and probably you know is gonna have your back 
they are into career or it will try to date you if we are talking about a romantic relationships. So with the two of swords, uh, my point with the two of swords is that your original generic impression from what that man or woman wants from you and as well you know uh, how they how can i place it how they're going to perform is going to be accurate and you got to make up your mind based on this generic and uh, initial impression that you do have upon them their uh, involvement into the matters and uh, you know as well how they co-op co with you because yeah, they can be uh, they can be capable to transform your ideas into actions, you know, and to make things happen. But if they are jerks, and um, it's it, it's basically it's very difficult for you either to work with them or to catch up with their humor and so on and so forth. You may think that it is it's not worth it at all. I mean that is completely a uh, a matter of a personal preference. Because even though this person is going to be very affectionate, compassionate, um, authoritarian one in the sense of that there will be people of authority and well respected as well, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, because they fall in this criteria, they are going to cover up every single other criteria of yours. Maybe uh, their demanding nature because they are with demanding nature. The demanding nature of that person is not going to be something of your liking and you may decide it's not worth it. Uh, <clears throat> maybe as well their lack of com uh, their nature of lack of compromises is, is going to be way too much for you to overcome or to handle and that's why you may decide no you know it's not worth it so I'm going to pass up, pass away. It's, uh, it does depend once again on your um, on your personal preferences, Virgos, uh, should you co op with that person either career or relationship wise? But you have to make up your mind straight away. Delaying your answer is not going to make things uh, any easier, nor is going to give you any additional information that can make your, your analysis in general uh, more accurate than the initial analysis you already have. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Nine of Wands, the formation is Active uh, Friends. And that is another confirmation here because, uh, and I, with the appearance of the Nine of Wands, now I do believe that we're talking more about uh, a business proposition or rather like a, a business cooperation. Because the nine of wands, when we are talking about relationships, it is usually the connection in between the opposites, the man and the woman. That is according to Alistair Crowley, that is. And in a negative position, there could be some chemistry in between you and this uh, guy, but with these cards, keeping the things as professional as possible is going to be the best thing you can do here as it is you know, as falling into a negative position, it does point that intimacy should we, we are we, if we're talking about a, um, a career subject intimacy, it is just going to place things, if not ruin them, if not ruin, ruining them, is going to place them into a severe hout with an ability to move forward when the time is right and when actions are needed. Okay, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, this formation, it does point that you ain't going to have uh, better circumstances than, than these to make up your mind should you co-op with this person, either romantically or, or, or professionally, or should you not. So that is another, another sign that you have to basically make up your mind straight away maybe on the next day or the day uh, or the day after uh, it's um, it's one of these situations uh, the way that i can hear the tight take on the cards is one of these situation guys where you for example you are introduced into someone you know and straight away you you kind of like 
know are you going to uh, get the hang of this person or are you not you know there, there are those introducements where you're introduced to someone and just from the first impression that person is repulsive to you just by the way they dress just by the way they act just by the way they talk and so on and so forth or if if you get introduced into someone and you immediately like that person because you like how they talk you like how they have dressed you like you like their manners and so on and so forth so this on this base information it is how you should make up your mind should you, you know, go and co-op with that guy or a woman or should you not? Then the next card that we do have for you, Virgo, this is how you should take on this uh, situation and that is the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands in a positive position, it is another confirmation that you are going to have an acute sense into the human nature, meaning that straight away you will be able to assess the pros and the cons if you go up or rather like if you get invested into this person either romantically or business-wise however i am obliged to tell you as a general reading that queen of wands is more professionally professionally oriented and if this is about a professional exertion here uh, you together you can achieve great things it is basically what happens is that this person sees a acute business sense in you and a leadership abilities as well but you are like unpolished diamond all right and they want to polish you as much as they can as best as they can so you can become an equal partnership in either their firm or in their business or in generally the project that they are working on and they want you there in the team because they see these unique qualities that you do have that no one else can um, can perform under or can uh, can present on the table at this uh, stage and at that very time so uh, with the queen of wands you have to very uh, once again you have to very accurate accurately assess the weaknesses and the strengths into one's human nature this one and that as i said happens straight away as soon as you get introduced or as soon as you see that person stepping out from the rest giving you a proposition to help you either with someone or simply asks you out uh, on a date. Uh, additionally to that, the Queen of Wands asks you to be or gives you an advice to be a little bit more carefree in a sense of that to try to enjoy life just as life is, meaning, you know, going more out with, uh, with friends and with family, having beverages and generally enjoy yourself the way you like, <clears throat> the way you like the most. But make no mistake, guys, throughout this week, uh, Virgos, you're going to have very strong presence wherever you go. And I suggest you to truly take advantage of this presence, either with this person or not. The Queen of, uh, the Queen of Wands points that you're going to attract a lot of people intimately wise and as well professionally wise. So this, uh, this week itself, is going to be related with you communicating with a lot of individuals and uh, not just with this uh, with this person that we're talking about that it is the topic of your week but with everybody you have to assess their weaknesses and their strengths uh, not because you know that is for whatever but it is because you can uh, capitalize on all of them meaning that you can use these people for your to, to further your goal, if I may, uh, if I may express myself that way. Straight away, an example here, you get closer to a couple of colleagues of yours. One of them is very good, you know, uh, analyzing stuff. The other is very good doing things, you know, and uh, vice versa. What the, the first one is very bad in executing plans, but uh, the second one is very bad analyzing the situation. So instead of, uh, so you have to use them in an accurate way, using the first one, you know, to analyze the situation and give you what the problem is, you know, and create a plan and the second one to execute the plan. So <clears throat> yeah, this, this week you can truly, how can I place it really arrange everybody around you that that it is a contributing in a certain way into your situation uh, to arrange them and to fit them into the right place where they belong uh, in a way that they are going to be most productive for your well-being that that concerns as well family wise friendship wise and so on and so forth 
<clears throat> the accompanied card with the queen that is going to be the uh, hierophant and the formation here is active neutrals. So with the hierophant, that is a little bit of a buffling uh, combination uh, due to the fact that probably you are going to find it a bit awkward at the start doing so. Maybe you Virgo are used to uh, take your time, you know, with making up the decision you're going to make toward a certain person or toward a society of people. And this time around, when you are, uh, when you're provoked to take it on fly, probably you can you are going to doubt into your decision. Did you make the right choice or did you not make the right choice and so on and so forth. And as well, that card points that you may have a little bit of a trust issues at the start, you know. So what the Hierophant here asks you guys is to have a blind trust, not into the people, but in your personal intuition, if you want to say it that way, for scoping what the human nature is, assessing straight away is a person good or is a person evil, is a person productive or is a person and, you know, a retard and so on and so forth and making up your mind according to it. Additionally, with, uh, with these couple of cards here, uh, how can I place it? I, these cards are pointing that you should not deviate from your original idea or from your, your original criteria as well. They are not alien. They are alien to the others apart from this uh, prime subject that we do had which is stepping out at the start of the week but not for him and that's why you may find yourself misunderstood by many but you don't need people to understand you for you to to utilize their pros and cons and you know exert them into your things or into your deeds and matters in order to make your life a better life or you know in order to further your things through uh, uh, these the examples for that guys could be very very uh, broad. I always seem to struggle when it comes to interpreting card regarding you know a subject that it is coming uh, in um, in one's life as a personality. Uh, that is because you know the interactions of the human nature are very dynamic. They are very different. And uh, it's because it, it always baffled me, you know, when, uh, for example, you read Virgo, uh, Virgo horoscope and well, every Virgo is going to go through the same thing. But I don't think so, you know, because Virgo horoscope could tell you that you're going to have a financial difficulties. But the Virgo who has, let's say, a billion dollars in their bank account, what kind of a financial difficulty they're going to go through? It's none unless they don't go through bankruptcy, but not every single Virgo is going to go through bankruptcy. So my point is that fortune telling is very dynamic, especially when it comes to general. And here I'm trying to cover up as much as I can. And uh, with the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands, it's, it's a very specific combo. It does in, in different questions means completely different things. But in, in a generic meaning here, it does point that it is likely that you are going to be not just misunderstood, but those people that you are associating yourself with is going to have it a hard time to comprehend upon your goal, to understand your goal, which is a good thing because not everybody needs to know what you are after because people who do not understand, they cannot interfere and things who which does not understand cannot interfere as well. So it's kind of like you're going to have, well, one my point here is guys is that you're going to be two steps ahead. Uh, if you co-op once again with, um, with this prime subject, because he's going to understand you very well and he will know what exactly you got to do in order to achieve your goal, either to uh, be with someone or to be successful into your career. And the last card that we do have is should you follow the guidance of Taro here, that is going to be the queen, uh, the king of swords, excuse me, which is how you stand. And, um, uh, so that is uh, in case you cooperate with this person, making up your mind straight away, you know, and if things are about say, a professional enterprise, you keep things completely professional, although it's going to be uh, a bit of a chemistry in there and um, <clears throat> you capitalize on the human nature and so on and so forth and give expression to your uh, acute business sense. 
the King of Swords points that uh, your actions are gonna be very, very effective or the uh, this transformation, that person which is to transform your idea into very, very powerful actions, they are going to be very effective, meaning that the very least you're going to achieve a certain milestone, okay? On top of that, uh, you are to earn respect, a, a big portion of respect from people that you work with or people that you are associating yourself with as well. And should you face any plights at that specific moment and any problems, that is the point where you stop for a second and try to analyze the situation. <clears throat> Because the analysis, once the things are stirred, once these powerful actions are exerted, uh, analyzing the situation is definitely going to reveal for you the way out of difficulty. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the uh, Nine of Cups. The formation is active neutrals. And uh, basically what the Nine of Cups is pointing here is, is that this is no coincidence. I mean, you are in this place because you definitely deserve it. And uh, it will be wish fulfilling to a certain extent. But uh, uh, let, me, let me tell you something here. So wish fulfilling, it is when something miraculous happened, okay? Something kind of like that you haven't expected. Um, here, it is not miraculous. It is all a, a, a result of a hard work and result of this cooperation. And although it's going to be uh, very exhilarating, you know, and um, very sensual, uh, sensually joyful enterprise or rather like sensually joyful situation that you're going to find yourself at the end of the week Virgo being respected you know and your actions being effective and so on and so forth uh, you are to experience uh, this uh, exhilaration uh, in a diminishing way it is because uh, once again you kind of you would have you you kind of knew that that is going to be the result of your uh, of your efforts. It was it was completely expected. This is my point here, and it was not not a coincidence because it's what, because it was the um, the result of your hard work. So uh, what I can tell you here, just in general, guys, is that if you want to be very successful this week into your career and uh, achieve a, a severe breakthrough in your things, in your project and in your projects, I can suggest you straight away to cooperate very much with your supervisor or with your boss. Follow their lead and it is how you are to prevail. Uh, you want to be in a relationship this week, well, it looks like that you have to lift up your criteria. and as soon as this person steps out, seeing that your criteria fits with their criteria, well, you just take this, uh, this opportunity, even if your friends and people into your social circle doesn't really understand why you are to associate yourself with this person in any way, because that person is going to be completely out of character for your current uh, of your current social circle so uh, that being said Virgo this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, March 18th to March 24th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys it was a bit scattered you know but it's it's a very broad thing I mean it can it can literally uh, touch any single subject um, in your life so I try my best here to give you examples so you can be prepared, you know, and to see where that person is going to come from or is going to, yeah, where that person is going to come from. But ultimately, you know, as a general reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different one of you. Uh, if you want more personal touch, meaning uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you a prediction for the future, then that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can go to my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page, you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, which starts from just as little as $12. For reason being, I decided to... Um, keep up the reduced pricing for the month of March uh, as well. Rod signing out now. 
See you around. Bye.